Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. This is the second part of cross account S3 access. Today, we are going to access an S3 bucket from a Lambda in different account. We have a couple of use cases for this. Suppose we want to grab one centrally located object from a Lambda or we want to push an object to a centrally location by Lambda, we need this mechanism to work. So very frequently, Lambda needs to access S3 bucket objects and in this video, we are going to discuss how we are going to do it. So let's go and check it out. So in this part, what we are going to do, we are going to access an S3 bucket. We are going to access this S3 bucket from a Lambda. So we have one S3 bucket in a different account, which we are going to access from a Lambda, which also situated in a different account. So if you remember from the part one of the S3 account uh, cross account access, uh, you remember that the process was a bit complicated when we have done it from EC2 instance because EC2 instance tried to access it from instance profile role. But here the process is not so much complicated because Lambda when it goes to other account to access S3 bucket is go it goes with its own role. So that's why it's a bit simplified. So let me go to the next step and let me show you how we will do it. So here is the architecture diagram, how we will do it. So we have AWS account A, where we have bucket. It is similar setup, S3 bucket. And don't bother about this bucket policy right now. And we are going to access this S3 bucket of AWS account A from AWS account B through a Lambda, which is also situated in AWS account B. So how we will do it? So in AWS account B, we are going to create one Lambda role which will have a policy to assume or the permission to assume AWS account A role. What is the role? We are going to create another role in AWS account A, which have bucket permission, like it can access the bucket, it can list its object, and it has another trust relationship with this Lambda role. That means this AWS account A role have a trust relationship with account B Lambda role so that account B role can assume this role and access the bucket. So in a nutshell, Lambda will have Lambda role, which will have the capability to assume account A bucket role. And that bucket role will have a trust relationship with Lambda role. And then eventually it can access the bucket and list its object. Now, similarly, I have done the bucket policy and I will show you at last what a bucket policy is and how we can allow and deny a particular role to access or to not access this particular bucket object. So this we will also discuss at the end of this video, but right now don't bother about this bucket policy. So let's go to the AWS management console and check it out how it really happens. Now I am inside my management console. And we have two accounts. This account starting with 3727. This is the bucket account that is AWS account A. And we have another account starting with 7398, which has which is the Lambda account. So that's why this Lambda console is open. So this is this per, this account. This is this part. Now, at, as a first step, what we are going to do, we are going to create a role in account A which will have bucket policy and a trust relationship. But we don't yet know what is the role of account B. So we will leave this out or we will create a demo. Uh, we will give it a demo role a name uh, for this assume role capability or the permission or the trust relationship. Then we will change this. So let's go and uh, create this account A role or the bucket role. So we are inside this account A and I will go to IAM. And from IAM, I will go to roles and I will create role. Right now here, I will I will select as AWS account. And this is fine because we will going to, we are going to replace it in future. So this is all fine. Uh, we are click on next. And then I will give it as S3 permission. I will give only that uh, AWS S3 read only access because I'm not going to put anything. So I, I want only to read 
the object of the bucket. So I will give read only access, then next. And then this is the one. So it has HTS assume role capability, which is giving for this particular this account. So only this account. So we are going to change this to the Lambda role that we will create. And right now we give this role a name S3 access role. This is fine. And it has the read only uh, access and we will give an, a tag to it. And then we create the role. So right now if we search with S3, so this has this is the role that we have created. It has S3 read only access and a trust relationship within this part, this account only. So we will change it. Now this part is partly done. Now let's go to account B and create a Lambda role. So I am in account B and let's go to IAM. Let's go to role, create role. And for this one, we have to select Lambda because this is a Lambda role. Next, and we give maybe S3 access and we can give CloudWatch access. Click next. So we have S3 full access because it needs to read S3 objects and CloudWatch access because it, it can log something. That's it. So I will, I am going to give it a name called Lambda role. That's it. And then add a tag, maybe. Always good to have tags. And then create role. Now, if we search Lambda, so our role is there. So it has, if you see, we have CloudWatch full access and S3 full access, but one, one particular uh, policy is missing that Lambda, this role, this also needs permission to assume account A role. So we need to give one assume role permission uh, for account A role to Lambda role. Now we go back to Lambda role. Uh, I hope this one, yes, Lambda role. And we edit the permission or we create inline policies and we go to JSON and let's create this one now let's see what we are creating we are creating we are we are giving this role that is this lambda role a permission to assume account a role so i am saying allow hts assume role on account a role this is my account a role so if i go to account a this is my arm of account a so i am saying hey lambda you can assume this role this is your permission so i review this policy and give a name and I created the policy. So this policy is customer inline that I have created and it has a assume role capability to assume this role of account A. That's all fine. And from that, you rem uh, we remember that we have done it in account B, but account A role also need to have trust relationship with account B, otherwise it cannot assume. So what we are going to do, we are going to go here and copy our ARN of account B role, that is Lambda role. And we go here in S3 access role, that is account A role. And in the trust relationship, we edit the trust relationship. And what we can do here is paste this one that's it and we update the policy so right now account a role that is s3 access role has a trust relationship with the lambda role so lambda will come here and access this role and as it has a trust relationship it can access this role so our basic infrastructure is ready now what we have to do we have to spin up one lambda and give it some code. So let's spin up some Lambda in account B. This is my account B and let's go to Lambda. Create function. And let's give it a name. Uh, 
and I will select Python and in default execution role I will select the role that we have created use an existing role and this is the one that lambda role uh, we have created now create function what we are going to do we go to configuration and permission we see everything is correct or not so it has cloudwatch access it has s3 access okay now we go to code and we implement something here uh, let let me put some uh, code here and i will explain it uh, how it is working okay so this is my code and what let me uh, show you what it does or let me just increase the font a bit okay now we see that it is trying to create one sts connection and this sts connection is creating from boto3 client uh, which is uh, a security token service uh, so and then after creating this client uh, we are we are going to access account b role uh, that is we have account account b uh, is this one that is the lambda it will access account a role so what it will do is uh, it will uh, create the STS connection with assume role capability which role it will assume uh, it will assume this account a role uh, that is this one s3 access role uh, if you remember we have created this s3 access role and it will assume it here and then uh, we have to give a session name for this role and this role session is created then as we have the trust relationship and account uh, lambda role also has a permission to assume so it will create the trust relationship and it will uh, return the uh, session for this and within this session we have the access key secret key and session token available so from there we will grab the access key secret key and session token uh, from this session credentials and access key id it will it, it is a short uh, term uh, token that it, it will return after we got that we will create a client of account a s3 bucket so we are now in account A and we are going to create one client. And this client is a Boto3 client of S3 resource. And we are going to pass the access key ID as access key, secret token from the secret key that we receive and the access token or the session token that we received from earlier. And after we pass this one, the client will be created. And from this client, we will use this Boto3 API uh, list bucket and list object to view or to list the buckets and list all its object inside of it. So what we are doing, we are giving one response, we are getting one response that in response client dot list bucket. So this is the S3 client and it is listing all bucket. So what we are going to do is this one is we are going to segregate this line. So we are telling that for bucket in response buckets so it will return all the buckets it has and then we will print the bucket one by one similarly we are going to take the response of list objects all the objects inside of this client and we are going to print it one by one so what we are going to do we are going to print this one we are going to print this response as well so we are going to print uh, two things here one is the bucket name and one is the response uh, of inside the bucket the object um, uh, of the buckets so if this is done then the lambda will uh, uh, return a hello from uh, lambda so this is the overall concept and this is the overall um, uh, lambda code but please do remember that never ever use this one uh, this role arn uh, like this here in this code please uh, always do this uh, from environment variable as this is a demo video that's why i have just hard coded this one but in production environment never ever hard code this one uh, in your code uh, this is a bad practice so now what we are going to do we are going to deploy this one and we will create a test event and we don't need any event so sample event is fine so we are going to save this test event and we are going to test it so we see that it has shown that hello from lambda that means our program is executed fine and we see that the bucket name is also displayed and some of the object names so to view it in a better format we can go to monitor 
and we can go to cloudwatch logs and inside the log uh, we see that one log stream is generated if we open this one we see that this is so our bucket is listed this is our bucket uh, we go to account a again open s3 and we see this is the bucket and it has listed the bucket and inside the bucket this is the response metadata and inside the bucket we have one object let's search for this object maybe yes this is the key what we can do we can particularly print out the key as well so let me do that so to print this particular object we have to get this contents uh, so that's why we have done so we are taking the content uh, from the response contents and from that we are just iterating over the content and we printing the content key and this particular key actually contains the our object name so if we now test it we see that uh, this is my bucket name this is from the previous print and the bucket object is this this is the png and we go inside the bucket and see that this is the bucket name and this is the png so it it listed out the uh, object so that's that's it that's how you uh, spin up one lambda from one account and access the object of s3 bucket in a different account using the assume role capability now let's create one bucket policy and deny this lambda role and let's see how that works okay so this is the bucket policy uh, that i have written uh, so what it means uh, is that it is allowing all action for this bucket and its objects inside of it for only this role this is the account a role s3 access role uh, in account a role we have created uh, so this is allowing so right now it is allowed so lambda doesn't have any problem to access this role so what we are going to do we are going to save it and we see the bucket policy is in effect and we will we will spin this lambda or we will uh, trigger this lambda once again just to check if everything is working so we see that everything is still working that means hello from lambda we are we can access what we are going to do we are going to de deny this one just from allow we will change it to deny and we will save it so eventually what will happen we are denying this role from accessing uh, this particular bucket that means lambda when it will come at, at uh, account a and access this role and this role try to access this bucket eventually it will get a deny policy in s3 bucket so it, it will not be able to access let me let us see uh, what happens when we trigger the lambda now okay we see that this is an access access denied exception that is happening because we have modified the bucket policy and asked that we don't allow this role to access the bucket anymore that means we are denying the policy or we are denying the role particularly so this is a very fine grained control that we can do uh, from bucket policy and this is very much needed and lots of use cases are using bucket policy just to fine grain more control or granular control uh, over your bucket uh, this is very much needed okay so this is the short video of how we can access cross account s3 bucket with lambda as you can uh, already now understand this is very easy to access s3 from lambda rather than ec2 which i have discussed in my previous video uh, so i hope this video was informative for you and you gained some knowledge out of it uh, if you really like this video kindly like comment and subscribe this channel uh, if you think uh, we could have done something different please also let me know in my comment section i will be back with another exciting video until then bye bye and take care